Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video is an off cycle video. I had a few of you request a uh, mixing video for the Oatrol cell activator. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go get started mixing. All right, I'm gonna run through the ingredients again, uh, just at a high level really quickly, and then we'll mix them here on camera. And we're only gonna do uh, one recipe with the Oatrol oil. The other two, you know, you can just sub that out and I'll I'll explain it as, as we're mixing. But so again, we have the Oatrol, the easy flow. Where, where am I? Where am I? <laughs> We've got this. And then we've got the uh, Amsterdam Titanium White. Again, I like to use the Amsterdam because it just, it's it's really responsive and has proved to be super selling no matter what cell activator I'm using. If you can't access Amsterdam and wanna try something else, by all means, go ahead. I don't know how it will work with this recipe, but give it a go and see how it works for you. I do know that, that the Amsterdam does work. So we're gonna use that. And then we've got distilled water. Just any, if you have bottled water, if you don't have distilled water, I've not used tap water. I've heard uh, things. <laughs> I've, I've never used it, but I've heard that it could uh, negatively impact. So I stick with some type of bottled water. I happen to have distilled water here, so that's what I'm using. And then we've got the glue, which is, I use the line code, the pH, it's it's archival, so it it's non-yellowing. If you don't have this, or if you have a different uh, archival glue that you wanna try, or just a different glue, by all means, give it a go, see how it works for you. I, I, I can't tell you if it'll work or not, I, I, this is all I have, but I, I encourage you to try what you have available to you. And then finally, the uh, Oatrol oil is gonna be the oil portion of the recipe that we're gonna be mixing up today. And now I'm gonna get everything situated. I'm gonna put a couple of these things in smaller containers like the, the water and the Oatrol only for easy handling. All right, we are gonna be mixing everything up in this three ounce lidded container. I've <laughs> I started mixing it and I completely lost count, so I, I had to start over here. But we're, I'm gonna be using uh, teaspoons. So each teaspoon is e equivalent to five milliliters. And the Oatrol, which I've also put into a smaller container just for the for say, easy sake of measuring, we're gonna need 20 mil mils of the Oatrol, which I'm gonna put in four of these teaspoons. So let me... Do one, two, whoops, three, four. And if you go over like it, that was like <laughs> a little bit over, but that's okay. I mean, it, it's, it doesn't have to be exact, exact, precise. Like I said uh, in the other video, this is, uh, <laughs> this is fluid art, this isn't baking. So we have 20 mils of the Oatrol in here. And now I'm gonna add five mil, which is one teaspoon of the Amsterdam paint. I know my, my big bottle is blocking, but I'll show you. That's about what we got in there. I mean, it could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less. Again, it's, you know, it's a, it's a vessel to use to measure as a starting point. So we'll get that in there. And we're gonna stop and just kind of mix this up before we add the, the glue in. All right, I'm gonna fast forward while I just, just get this mixing. All right, I've got the Oatrol and the uh, Amsterdam Titanium White in here and I've mixed that up really well and I just wanted to stop and uh, kind of show you the consistency of it, what it looks like, at least for me in my environment. So there's that. Now we're gonna add uh, 10 mil of the glue, which is gonna be two teaspoons for me. And I'm just gonna it right into here 
All right. There's that. And then there's that one. And then we're going to mix this. And this will all be in the description box down below. But I just wanted to give you a visual as well how I uh, how I mixed it up. All right. And now here's that consistency. Whoops. There's that. All right, now we're going to start adding the water. I, I like to add the, the uh, oil part last. I mean, if you want to just throw it all in there, mix it however you see fit. But this is just, this was kind of how I was doing it as I was testing. So I started with five mils of uh, water, uh, one teaspoon for me. So I'm just going to use my, my dropper. I have my dropper here because uh, we'll be adding more. And I used to just add it by... Uh, well, the drop full. <laughs> All right, so that's five mils of water, and then we're going to carefully, carefully mix this up so it doesn't splash all over. All right, you see it's it's gotten thinner now, but we still need to add our oil portion. Now, before we add our oil, so this, the Oetrol, the paint, the glue, and the water kind of makes up the, the base without adding the oil into it. If you, we're gonna use the Oetrol, again, we're gonna use the Oetrol oil today, but uh, the other two recipes that we tested out in the last video, the Oetrol, uh, video we used the Minwax pre-stain conditioner which I've been told is impossible for you to get at least over in the UK if you have something similar you know you could try that or just stick with this Oetrol oil and then also we tried the silicone oil which you know you can use any really any silicone as long as it says 100% silicone then you know it's silicone oil so you would add any one of those into this base so to, to, for this mixing video we're going to use the Oetrol oil but if you have your base here you would do the same thing. Like we're gonna add five drops of this Oetra oil in here, but if you wanted to try, you know, uh, the Minwax or something, uh, you know, some other pre-stain conditioner, you would add it in at this step. And then same with the silicone, you would add, you know, one drops or two drops, however many drops you wanted to add in. I just used one and then you would mix it up and you would see how thin it is for you. And then if you need to add more drops of water, that would be when you would do it. So. Now, if, I, if you're still with me and I haven't confused you, I'm trying to go about this kind of methodically, but now we have the Oetrol oil and I'm just gonna take my little pipette here and I'm gonna put in five drops. One, two, three, four, five. If you, if you accidentally put six or seven in, I don't think it's gonna make you know that big of a deal. So don't, don't stress about it. So now we've got our five drops of oil in there. We're just going to stir that carefully. All right. This is the consistency of it now. Now that we have our uh, cell activator completely mixed up with the oil, and everything. And if you want to go ahead and try it without adding more water, you know, experiment to see what it's going to do for you in your environment, then you can go ahead and do that. But, you know, as you're experimenting, you know, you can add like a, a milliliter or two of water. Like I'm just going to add one more mil of water in there. And I just use a little pipette and it actually has, yeah, this one goes up to three milliliters. And just add drops at a time. You, you can always add more. It's it's <laughs> it's taking away the water is the problem. So just start with 
five mil initially in your uh, in your Oetrol base, and then you can always add more. But that's that's how I essentially how I mixed it up. I, as I said, I was adding, I was testing, and then adding just a little bit more water each time. And then I thought, okay, you know what? This is good for me. And and environment is going to be different for me. It was cooler, so I needed to get it a little bit thinner. If you're in a warmer environment, you need, you may not not need to add as much water as I did. So take that into consideration when you're mixing it up. So I encourage you to kind of test as you're going, and then when you get your recipe that works well for you then you'll have it and you'll know oh I need to add you know 10 mils of water instead of five so but and another thing that I noticed when we were testing this out in the uh, the last video was I after it had sat for you know a couple hours it seemed to work better so maybe let it sit for a couple hours before you start doing your pieces to see what happens to let the ingredients kind of marinate together so <laughs> so at any rate this is how i mixed it up and i hope this was really helpful for you i'm going to turn my camera back around and give you my final thoughts so I hope this mixing video uh, helps you in putting this cell activator together. You know, it is going to be a learning experience. You know, you're if you're in a different environment, a warmer environment, like I said, you may need to add less water or if you have uh, different ingredients, you have a different type of glue or a different type of paint, you can't get Amsterdam or, you know, you want to try tap water, you know, go ahead and try all of that. I, I'm, you know, I would never say don't try it. I always say, try it see how it works for you I, this is what was available to me and what you know everything i put together but uh, if you have something different and you want to give it a try by all means have at it and have fun with it so i hope this video was helpful for you in uh, mixing up this cell activator so with that thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time